Hi guys! With our recent successful event of Feeling Sisters with Sal, with helping people out, answering questions, interacting with each and everyone who's been following this channel, I am proud to announce to you that we are going to be hosting our first workshop this January. If you are a person who's looking and wanting for some big changes coming this year, this is that perfect workshop for you. We'll be touching different parts of blockages and healing onwards to a successful new you. So this is gonna be new me, new you, who you. Join me this January and I'll see you there. Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, we're doing a reading. How are you? Excuse me. Okay, um, it was, it's just my pre-workout stuff. Okay, so if you guys are not familiar, you know, it's like there's 10,000 likes, you get the whole reading against you and the other zodiac, meaning Capricorn, Aries to Pisces. Just hit the like, we get to 10,000 and I'll do a full read with no extended. If you guys want to participate in the raffle, hashtag eat, read, love, hashtag Salvador in the comments, uh, 15,000 likes, I do a raffle for 15, uh, for five minutes, you know, it's like I would get give you a personal read. Okay, so let's cut the shebangles for the Capricorn. Let's get right to it. Okay, here we go. Hopefully you guys are doing awesome. Okay, natural Lord is coming. The owner of the house, Saturn gonna be in Capricorn, okay? It is here, and it's gonna stay, and you will start to feel it, okay? Let's see, order is gonna be restored, okay? Saturn aspects the 7th, the 10th, I believe, I don't know, uh, I forgot the aspects of Saturn, but I feel like it's a, well, 6 can be also? I have to look at it to it. It's too early for me to think about astrology. I need to call my TITS also. Here we go. Aspects the third. Mm -hmm. Aspects the third, seven, and ten. Okay. So here's what is aspect. Let me let me. Drishti it's called. It looks to another house. So you would always have to see a planet now hitting three birds with one stone. Okay. Three, seven, ten. Third house creativity, your mind. Yes. Seventh house partnership, marriage. Okay, it's also uh, fame from your career. So, because 10 to 10 in Bavat Bavam, your 10th house is active, then you will see now your 7th house also is active. You understand me? So it's a little tricky. Okay, so, but it's going to be a good time for you for career, depending on your, of your dasha. Okay, but 3, 7, 10, those houses for the next two and a half years, that's what Saturn is looking at. Now, we're not going to even go to, of course, because it's going to go retrograde. That's something else. It will go to different nakshatra. That's something else. Okay? So you would need to get a personal reading, basically. <laughs> but that's for the, you know, don't worry. I have a plan to coach people. I'm just trying to be creative, meaning there will be um, a prediction for that. Okay, Capricorn? So make sure you hit the like. Get a three of pentacles. See? Third house. What is third house? Okay. Choices. Actions. That you will take. Okay? Now, this is about your career. This is about settling down. This is about buying a home. Okay? This is about getting to your comfort zone. Now, don't ask. Fine, I will tell you. Because if three is active, then fourth will be the result. Any house next to it is the result. So now, if 3, 7, 10 is active, you will get 4, 8, 11. <laughs> okay? Because the result. Okay? If that house is active, you get the next house to it that is the result of that house. So buying a home. Thinking about buying a home. Mm -hmm. Doing a uh, third house is also your dream's aspiration, but you're thinking about how to get there. Right? And as soon as you have your 10th house active, what do you do? You have a stable career, you have a stable life. You would think now, it's time for me to settle. Mm -hmm. And since Saturn is looking at your 7th house, it's time to me to look for a stable partner and build a home together. 3rd house also is learning. But this is more of a high school. So are you in like high school? Because <laughs> GED or you know maybe... You're just going, you know, maybe you know someone's going to high school. <laughs> okay. Because higher knowledge is ninth, uh, ninth house. Mm. That's one card. Okay. 
One card with Vedic. Mm. You only get that from here, Capricorn. Mm. Nine of Wands, Mars and Capricorn. This is for me, Mars and Capricorn. Trying to think of buying a property. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands, though, is pursuit. Okay, to be stable. Are you hurt? Are you in pain? Because Saturn rules P. Letter P for pain. Mm -hmm. Are you paranoid? Saturn again. Are you scared? No, that's not P. <laughs> but it rules fear. Mm. Why does it bring fear? Because if you are not doing things in order, it's the principle of the school. Letter P again. You know how the principle is coming. Everything, you know, in high school, right? Or in grade school. When the principle comes, everything has to be planned out. You know, it's like everything is in order. So if you are not, and your life is not in order, this is you right now. Okay? And don't think that it's your birthday yet. No, it's not. It's not a Capricorn season. It's a Sag season. Look at the sun, where it is right now. It is in, it is in Sagittarius. It's not. Okay? It's not in Capricorn. The sun is in your 12th house. A lot of losses first. This is a rebirth. Before the sun comes back to a solar return, it will remove all the secrets, enemies. It's burning through. You understand me? However, sun in 12th house is not good because it's a lot of losses. Okay? Then also you want to have some sort of pleasure, vacation. Mm -hmm. Right now, that's what you feel, right? You feel like, oh my God, when am I going to have a break? Nine of Wands. Why can't life give me a break? Emperor, your career is more important than ever. Your stability. Emperor for me sits in the 10th house. Let me explain. Capricorn, I give you guys different coaching because you guys need to be strong. You understand me? Saturn comes to you. Strong knees, strong 10th house. The better the first house. Weak knees, a person who has, who has weak knees will not have a good first house. Not ideal for partnership. For you, you are ideal. Because you're fighting, okay, to be an entrepreneur, to be your own boss, a boss lady, a boss man. That's what you are right now. You're not about love. You're about to make your life better for the next two and a half years. Expe expect yourself to be, how to say this, successful mm -hmm. with regards to the things that you are uh, manifesting with regards to your coins. Six of swords. You're not going to be talking to that person. It ain't happening now. It's not going to happen tomorrow. Six of Swords. Forget about them. Move. Okay? Oh, they haven't been talking to me for the past two months, three months, six months. Stop thinking about them. Let them go. Cut them off. Six of Swords. Trying to move on to, what, what do you call this? They always say it's moving to calmer waters. No, it's not. It's never going to go to calmer waters. Without no, no communication, it's just going to sink. That sword right there in the boat. Have you seen a boat with a sword? Where does it go? It doesn't go to calmer water. It goes and sink. It's a failure. Relationship is a failure. I'm sorry. It's right here. It ain't rainbows, butterfly. Mm -hmm. Two of cups. Mm. That's the partnership that you're looking at. That's Saturn looking at it. Who are you going to talk to right now? A new person, a past person? Have you learned your lesson? Because they can be someone new. Mm -hmm. Ditch the old potato, get a new potato sack. People love relationship, they obsess about it, I don't understand why. Mm -hmm. And I love love. Mm -hmm. I'm a love, all about love. Under nine of wands, but three of swords. Mother, son of a bee. What do you guys get yourself into? Pain. Three of swords again, heartache. Mm. Oh, and then don't, don't expect me to give you a candy lollipop over here, Capricorn. No, it's not gonna happen. You need tough love right now, okay? Because all the sweet talk, that came from your soulmate. Now is the time of realization. You're in pain, okay? Because this person hasn't talked to you, you need to stand your ground, be your own boss. Emperor. <laughs> I'm not going to catch you in bed not being productive. Emperor, rise up. Okay? Rise up. You know better. 
under the emperor, of course, it's going to be a burden. Of course, there's going to be a lot of responsibility. Of course, you feel oppressed. Of course, it was one-sided relationship. Rise up. Rise up. I'm not going to catch you moping around. Waste of time. Waste of life. The person that you're dealing with? Waste of flesh. Mm-hmm. Star card. Oh, there's still hope. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, it's like maybe the divine is telling you something. Mm -hmm. But it requires for you to heal first. Star card with the two of swords. Healing has to happen between you and that person who hasn't been talking to you. Now, to be honest, you guys need to heal first. There is hope, but in divine timing. Let Saturn do the work. Mm -hmm. P for planet. Saturn rules all the planet. Saturn rules karma, Saturn rules time, and it's about damn time that this happened. Two of Cups and a Star card. Mm. I have a Saturn webinar. If you want to attend, it's right there. That's for you. It's right there. January 11. It's your only chance to catch me. Okay? I'll teach everything about the planet. Okay? Natural Lord for you. Link down there in the description box. Let's see where this is going. Okay? Thank you very much, Capricorn, for watching. If it was difficult and it was hard, it's because you, you need to learn now. It's 2020. Okay? I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for watching the video. The rest of the reading can be found at the link right here. And also, there is going to be a suggested video right here for your zodiacs. Thank you very much for always watching and supporting this channel. Hit that like, that subscribe, and share this video. Always spread the wings, not the legs. Bye.